Hi, Mike here. This one's for Excel newbies. Last week, I came across an article on the BBC Sports website about soccer finances. It was called Premier League Clubs, £1 billion of losses in 11 charts. I'll put a link into the video description for anyone who wants to read it. As I looked through it, not just as a football fan, but for somebody who has an interest in data visualisation, it struck me that for many people, especially Excel newbies, a chart is a chart is a chart. But when you create a chart from a set of data, you do actually need to think carefully about the best type of chart to use for that data. Take this set of made up data, which is based on the BBC article. For many people, when faced with three columns of data and a list of items, in this case, the items of the soccer teams, their first thought is to create a column chart. There's nothing wrong with a column chart, but in my opinion, with the columns next to each other, the chart looks cramped. There's not enough room to clearly display the values or data labels, as Excel calls them. These are the numbers that you can see on each column. But that's just aesthetics. To make any sense of this data, which is what a data analyst or a financial analyst would need to do, the chart is not clear enough. Yes, it tells us that Azure Lions and Seabreeze Saints have generated the most revenue from the commercial operations. And we can see that Northern Lights are bottom of the league when it comes to revenue from match day ticket sales. If the purpose of the chart is to compare each club's match day revenue and compare each club's commercial revenue and compare the revenue generated by each club from broadcasting deals, I think I'd create three separate charts like this. But actually, the instruction that I was given by the fictitious boss was to create a chart that displayed for each football club the total revenue broken down by match day commercial and broadcast. And that's where a stacked column comes in. Here you can see not only the total revenue per club, but within each club's total, you can see exactly how it's broken down. So how do you create a stacked column chart? Let me show you. I'll start by selecting the data that I want to build the chart from. So I'll include the headings because I can use those as the legend and I'll include the numbers and I'll include the team names. So I'll just select A4 to D20. Then I'll click on insert and in the middle of the insert ribbon, I've got all the different chart types. I'll click on the button for bar chart and column chart and select this one here. It looks slightly different on Windows, but it's very, very similar. This is the Mac version of Excel. So I'm going to choose stacked column. And there is my chart. Now, obviously I don't want to leave it like that. So I will pick it up and drag it, position it where I want it, and also resize it. To change the colors, let's start by changing the blue to a different color. So click on one of the blues and all of them get selected. And then on the home tab, use the fill color button. There's actually two or three ways that you can change the color of the bars, but I'm going to use the fill color button and I'm going to change that to a, a rusty color. And the orange one, I'll click on that and it selects them all. Click the same button and I'll change that to blue. And the green one, I will change that to red. To add the data labels, rather than having to add them to each data series, so add them to the match day revenue, add them to the broadcast revenue, add them to the commercial revenue, I'll select the entire chart by just clicking on the edge of it. Go to chart design, go to add chart element on the left and select data labels. I can then choose where I want the data labels to go. And I'm going to say inside end, which means the inside of each bar at the end at the top, as opposed to inside base, which means inside the bar, but at the bottom. So if I click inside end, you can just about see the numbers have appeared, but because it's black font, 
and the font's quite small, it's a little bit difficult to read. So if I click on one of the numbers in the red bars, they all get selected and then I can change the color by using the font color button. I'll change them to white and I could make them a little bit bigger. I'll make them 10 points and I'll do the same with the blue ones, make it white and 10 points and the same with the rusty ones, white text, 10 point. For the title, I want to pull the title in from A2. So rather than clicking on the chart title heading and over typing that with my own text, I'll click on the chart title heading, click into the formula bar, type an equal sign and click on A2 and press enter. And it pulls the text in from A2. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.